Hey guys, it's yours truly, Music Blues here. Hey, is this Gregory? Hey, Dylan here. And welcome back to another uh, movie discussion. Uh, today is actually a very interesting discussion for both me and Ethan. Ethan, because today uh, we're going to be doing it a little different. For those who don't know, normally we do our movie discussions discuss uh, spoiler free to prevent people from, you know, getting spoiled. However, the movie we saw this time around was actually a prequel to the main series, series that said mo movie, so I figured that, figured that this time it would be a little bit night, uh, it would be easier for us to discuss it since most of the events don't really tie, uh, there wasn't really anything too spoilery for the main series. Right. So, uh, as you guys know, uh, you probably saw this earlier, but we confirmed that we were watching the Genshin Kenshin movie. Well, we watched it last night. We missed the opening part, but thankfully we didn't miss any important things for the movie. Yup, and I'm gonna tell you something. Well, before we discuss that, I'm gonna say... Another winner. And you'll see why. But, as always, always, we have to go over... The three different th the three different things that we usually talk about. So first things first. First, the characters. Yep. Ethan, why don't you explain our main protagonist real quick in the best way you can? Yes. So I don't remember his name, but I can discuss what his character is. So I can tell you in the main character. It sounds like to me that he really does care about that one female character that is actually like a character, but unfortunately she is not existing as a human, but however, it's sounds like to me that he only cares, he doesn't want anybody else getting the same curse as that girl that, in the, in the past, they were going to promise to get married in their ring, so, and they were young too, especially, so I'm going to say, he has a heart, and is a main character. He has a heart. Like, he really cares. Yep, he does. Mm hmm Yep. So, and also Rika, I think that's the female character. She really loves him. They were, like, childhood friends or something back in the past. And they were really, they were really, like, into each other. They were just friends back then. And then what's even funny is, okay, obviously this is spoilers to warn you, as you saw the title. So let's just say when when uh, she was giving the box to the main character and she's like, hey, hey, I want you to have this. And he's like, oh, okay. So then they open the ring box and then she's like, hey, we pro when we promise, we when we grow up, let's get married. <laughs> I was like, whoa, in a young age? I didn't think they could do that when you're younger. Yes, <laughs> that was pretty interesting. So yeah, but uh, to say the least, in that, in you could probably tell that the characters in this adventure were pretty, pretty adept. Every single one of them, one of them had something interesting about them. That's why I like about it personally, and it reminds me of like Ratchet and Clank, how they get their development to each other. It's not love; it's more like friendship. This one is love. That's how I can describe it perfectly. Pretty much. Okay. Okay. So, now, for as for the action. I'm going to say, congratulations. That was probably some of the best fighting I've seen in a long, long time. Oh, I'm going to tell you, the new IP for anime does a fantastic job. Very, very good anime. Uh, very, very good fights in this in this one. Yup, yup. See, what else do we discuss? Music? Right? Yeah, music. I gotta say, the music, ten times better. I loved it. Yep, the music was ten times better than your standard anime movies. Movie, yup. Movies, so I personally think it was probably one of the best I've seen so far. That's it. So, <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that this one was amazing in yeah. terms of it, in terms of its music. Yep, yep. Even I like the ending music as well, but I can't say much. Indeed, indeed. Uh, uh, the plot. Okay, 
So again, this is going into spoiler territory, like we said on the fu- said in the title. But um, if you still don't want spoilers and still want to skip, I'll still leave a timestamp. But uh, Ethan, to fi- uh, why don't you go ahead and describe the plot of this movie for those who do not know? Okay, so the plot of this movie, from my understanding, well, just give me a second. I'm just gonna get something real quick. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's just say though that main character, he wants to control a extraordinary, a, a, extremely powerful curse, curse spirit that gets enrolled in the Tokyo professional uh, jutsu, jutsu high school by by sorcerers to help him control his power and keep eye on him. So basically, he wanted to control the spirit of Rika, which is the female character that they were, they were like, all in love with. But, but unfortunately, what happens is, beginning of the movie, let's just say the background story is Rika got killed by a, by a car accident, or just bump into it, and then after that, she became a cursed spirit. And it's really sad, unfortunate. Yep. They were like childhood friends, too. Agreed. Of course, the whole plot. It's really hard to remember the plot personally. I could do big explain the beginning part. Exactly. So that's a theme throughout the, this adventure. Venture, uh, and as the other characters show their background stories of how things have been for them, then it gets really interesting too. Yeah, and also while they're at right now, let's just say they're in war with this guy who wants to like take over. I don't think it's take over the world. It, it's hard to understand his plot, the yeah. villain plot. Agreed, agreed. But I will say this: say this. He's probably one of the most insane villains I've seen, and I be by insane I mean mentally unstable. Which is good for a villain, but if I'm being honest, he's actually one of the best villain movies I ever seen for anime. Even though he's not, I don't know. It, it, okay, so prequel it is canon, yes, but I'm not sure about the character though. Maybe he is canon. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> if you gentle kids, your fans know, let us know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will say that this one was. Probably one, uh, probably one of the best ones that we've seen. Now, pacing wise, it was actually pretty decent. There was a perfect amount of pacing between the non-action and action parts of the movie. Exactly. Yep. Uh, and honestly, I think that's about it. Yep. Yep. I mean, that's the thing I try to explain it. Okay, so it's really good for introducing to the newbies who want to get into this anime in particular. This is for you. This is before the first season, by the way. Yes, the very first season of Jinchu Kitchen, who, for those who don't know, is a recently new anime that just came, uh, that just joined the anime scape. Mm-hmm. Rex and Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer came out first, and then Jinchu Kitchen. They were a month at first. Yep. So, uh, but that being said, continuing on, on these new adventures, uh, these new, uh, event, uh, these new adventures that we've been going on, on, are pretty, pretty fun. So, I gotta say, for this prequel to the Jinchu Kenshin Season 1, I give it, uh, 7.5 out of 10. Me? One point higher. Eight. Agreed, agreed. And it even did some things better than some of the other movies that we've watched. Oh, the only one movie I think it did better, personally, for me, this is just my opinion. Don't don't attack me. It's just my opinion. Everybody can have their different opinions. I think it's better than One Piece Stampede. That is for sure. 100%. And action-wise, it beats My Academia World's Heroes Mission. Of course, spoiled territory for those who are gonna want to watch that one too. But okay, I don't know when the DVD is coming up for that yet, so hold your horses on that. Unfortunately, sheesh, sheesh, you would think they have it out by now. I know it's insane. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, wait. So yeah, 
Uh, but that was probably a shorter discussion than a lot of you were probably expecting. You were probably expecting maybe a five-hour discussion. <laughs> uh, not this one because, well, then again, it's because it's a prequel. And plus for me, I'm trying to get an understanding of the whole plot of the whole series. I don't know what that – I think the time like it hit before the first season. So that's just me. Right, right. So that being said, said – me and Ethan have finally talked about, uh, uh, have finally, fi- finally talked about the Jim T. Kitchen movie. I hope you guys have enjo- enjoyed this discussion, shorter discussion, which is about only 10 minutes long. Probably our, sh- uh, probably our shortest discussion to date. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, if you, uh, but if you want to know what our next movie discussion is, well, you won't have to wait too long. About a week later, me and Ethan, uh, me and Ethan, Ethan, after I get back from spring break vacation, vacation, are going to see the Sonic movie, which is a sequel to the first one. And just keep that well. Fun fact: it was the best. Well, not oh, the, yeah, it's the best gross, gross filming, gross filming of the Fugit series. That's how I can explain that. Right next to Detective Pikachu. Keep that in mind. Exactly. Exactly. So that is something that I am looking forward to to doing as well. And then after uh, the Sonic movie two, that is, uh, we are gonna be go going. Uh, we are gonna be waiting on our next film that we know that we're gonna see so far, uh, which is Jack of All Super Superheroes. Which is, I think it said it was a. A canon, if I'm mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, will ya? And, uh, Red P- One Piece Red Film, which is, I heard this is actually gonna be main focus on this specific character, I heard. So, yeah, we have plenty of, uh, movie stuff coming up. Uh, but, uh, this is the last anime one thing, related thing for a while, unfortunately. So, sorry, guys. You're gonna be waiting a little bit, bit until I get that Naruto video and other stuff out. Oh, but if Ethan has any other videos planned, plan, he'll let me know. Obviously, of course. Uh, but yeah. Alright, guys. That is all for this discussion. Sorry it's shorter than usual, but... <laughs> Man, it's, that's how much we mean anyway. Agreed, agreed, agreed. But, um, yeah. It was a pretty good discu- discussion, as I'm not gonna lie. Let us know in the comments below, oh, oh, oh. Well, if you've seen the movie, what your thoughts are on Jim T. Kenshin. Do you, did you love it? Did you not like it? Did you hate it? Let us know. And uh, that, uh, that's all for now. Uh, this should be going up before our Media Mania Act Monthly, which we've also recorded as of this video's recording. Co- co- I mean, that should be going up on April 1st. So if you came here from that video, video uh, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but um, yeah. All right, guys, that's all for now. This is yours truly, music clues. He's in, signing out. And y'all have a nice gaming day. See ya. <laughs>